Alright, so let's continue and do more of the same. And UV mapped the rest of our character. And again, this is these are the same techniques that you just have to do over and over for everything else. So it may not be as exciting. So I'm doing the same technique with this we did in the last video with the hands. Select one area, control right click, go to shell, and then two face and play the map. Now for the hand we want to do the unfold to smooth UV2, but this time do it very very slightly and not too much because we don't want to get too much overlapping like right here. So I'm going to reduce that a little bit so let me undo. Just do it just a little bit, not much. Maybe for the bottom area, I want to do it a little more. And if we have overlapping like this, you can try to use the relax or just W and move the area manually. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the other for the other side of the hand. So again, doing UV mapping, it's uh, pretty much using the same techniques and just applying those to the whole to the whole body. And uh, so it's really just repeating the same process. So now we can go ahead and work with the belt. Let's go to shell. Let's go ahead and use the smooth UV tool. So for the belt, I'm going to make it for now, I'm going to make it into two pieces so that I can to make the process easier and cut UV edge and probably do a planar map for the two pieces so what I want for the belt is to have it really like a straight line this is just so that it can make makes it a lot easier to texture later on especially if you use something like Photoshop if you use something like uh, ZBrush or Mapbox, it doesn't really matter much. But for something like 
uh, like uh, using Photoshop you want this to be really straight so something like this works like this works but now let me go back and make sure this is just one piece So polygon so move edges. So now I'm going to go to UV, select one side, and I'm going to click right here on this arrow. And as you can see, it flattens that area, makes it really straight. And I can do the same with everything else. Double click this edge and go to UV and use that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the top, but this time I'm going to use that arrow. So now we have it as a straight UV set which is going to be really easy to texture in something like Photoshop and if you want to minimize the distortion you can always select one area and just move that just to minimize any kind of distortion so now let's go ahead and work with everything else with the pants and again it's just more of the same process that we've done with everything else So I think I'm going to cut this one into two pieces. Make sure you select that one from the bottom as well. And now I can go to polygons and cut UVs. And now I have two pieces for my UV area and create a planar map one from the front and one for the back and now we can use the unfold tool under the tool smooth UV tool we can use the unfold and the same for the other side And the last thing that I want to do is I wanted to have it as one piece, so I'm going to connect just the outside. So go to polygons, so and move edges. I can try to use the unfold to one last time, and it works just fine. So let's keep going down and working with the rest. Now for the legs, I'll probably use the exact same technique that we used the when we UV mapped the the arms. So we're going to use the exact same technique. I hope you remember how to do that. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll have to cut this into two pieces and use a planar map, one for the front, probably one for the back. Again, this is the exact same technique that we used for the arms.
So let's go ahead and use the smooth UV tool for this one and use the on fall. We'll do the same thing with this one. So I want to fix the seam that I have for the front of the boot. So I'm going to cut some of the I'm going to cut that UV edge right there. I'm going to cut UV edges. So now we have this one as one piece. And it's separate. Now I'm going to select the edges for the front. And now move and sew edges. So now this is one piece. And now no longer do I have a seam in the front. So that's what I wanted to fix that. And I want to connect the other piece. I'll probably connect this one from the back. and unfold this one which is not a big difference and now for the bottom part that's just going to be a simple planar map So I think so far we are actually done with the with the whole body and we just need to start to UV map the act the everything else. So yeah we're done with the whole body, we just have to UV map everything else for now. Let's go ahead and if we map this burst right here and I'm just going to select one side and it's going to be a simple planar map let's go to create planar map And I'm going to unfold. And to fix the overlapping, I'm probably going to use the relax in this in this occasion. So for the overlapping, I'm going to use the relax. Now we just do a planar map for the other side and a simple unfold.
and there's still some uh, distortion there that you can fix by having more separate pieces but in this case I think this is such a small piece that I'm just going to leave it this way so next we're going to continue to you've been wrapped the rest <laughs> 